Alright everybody, welcome back to the third Winchot tutorial episode. Today we will be looking on how to upload a file and slightly more into the download and checkout functions of downloading and checking out a file. Um, if you don't remember last time or in the second episode if you've watched that, we looked on how to explore the file layout and how to download a file uh, that you'll need to edit or that you need access to. So without further ado, let's begin. Obviously, this is the home menu, which you are all familiar with. We go to this left-hand panel, and we hit Browse. Then I want to explore this Revolution Robotics uh, project, and we'll want to go to Folders. This will bring us up to a new dual panel screen, which we should have all seen before in the previous uh, video. Not only will I want to click on the Subteam folder to bring up these, uh, this view right here, but I'll also want to click this plus button, which will just show that drop down there. And I like to do that just to stay in a habit of keeping both panels up to date. I find it's really helpful. Um, however, unfortunately, because I have bad memory, we actually don't need the sub team. I want to go to training, and I want to go to windchill tutorial videos right here. Now, what this um, is, is it's the folder where I have put these videos up on Windshield for you. So what I'll actually be doing is I'll actually upload the second video I did last time. And so, let's begin. Uh, we've clicked into this folder, Windshield Tutorial Videos, and you can see I have some files here. One is a text file, which is the syllabus of what we'll, we'll be covering, and the other one is a uh, file probably a Windows video file on Windshield login and home screen. That's the very first episode. Up here you can see I have some icons. Uh, there's an X, there's some scissors, there's a folder with like an explosion, a uh, globe with a link with an explosion, and then a document it looks like with an explosion. Um, or a little asterisk maybe, whatever you want to call those. Um, however, we'll want to go to the document one, and if you haven't seen it already, um, it, when you hover over it, a dialog will pop up that says new document. And so we'll want to go to this one, and of course you will need to have permission within that folder to upload a document. Uh, but I do, so let's see. And now, uh, in Chrome, or if you're using Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge browser, a new window will pop up, a separate window. And this is what Windshield does. Um, it doesn't load in that, win in that window you have, it pops up with a new pop-up. Um, so sometimes if you have lots of things going on, it can get a little tricky. But let's take a look at this window we have right here. Uh, it looks like the first thing we have is a says new document up here. So we're going to upload a new document. And we want to set the attributes of this document. Uh, the project is Crevolution, our FRC team. The type is a document. Templates, we don't really need to get into now. The main part is the primary content source which for anyone uploading a document from your PC, your computer, or something that's on your flash drive, this is where you want. You want to have this menu right here on local file, and then you want to click browse, and this is just what you would think it is. You just browse your computer. So if I hit browse, it will actually open a Windows Explorer. And I don't know why it exactly opens up in Chrome, but if I have some videos, I can go to some windshield videos and then we'll see we have a windshield login and home and a windshield system folders and file downloads. So I'll click that and then I'll open that and that will actually upload this to here. Now since it's a video file, um, it's a pretty large file or at least decently large, so this little green bar here will fill up uh, slowly but when it's done uploading that will be filled up all the way to the end of that field right there. Um, and as you can see, I've already hit Browse, and because I've selected that and I clicked Open and Upload, the name of the file is now down here in this Attributes box. And if I want, I could add a description, in which case I'll say a short video about the Windchill folder system, if I can spell, and downloading a file. And this will just give anyone who wants to know uh, about more about this file or about the uh, 
video beforehand, kind of like a YouTube uh, description. It just tells them what the file is about. If you're giving a presentation, you can detail what the presentation is about. If you have a document, uh, you could give short little things right there. It's not necessary because, as you can see, it doesn't have an asterisk next to it. Uh, but that's not the point. Anyway, this is going to take a little while. Um, but as you can see, hopefully that's began to move. And when it gets all the way to the end of this field, uh, the file name will pop up here. And that's when we know we are good to go. So uh, I'm going to cut the video and we can come back when that's done. So as you can see, resuming here once again, the green bar is all the way across the bottom. And the file name has taken up this field here. Um, like it is there. Now there's really no reason to change those, uh, so just make them correspond. And then, because we are only uploading a primary content source, as Windshield calls it, or in simple terms, because we are only uploading a file on the computer, we don't really need to go up here to this second uh, setup and click Set Attachments. So instead of going down here and hitting Next, we can instead just hit Finish and then once that happens that window will close you'll get a banner up here that says confirmation create successful the object was created and then it will tell you what it is and it will give you a number here as well document 00011456 which is just a random digit of screen uh, strings uh, but that's the file number or document number in Windchill but then this banner can get closed and as you will see we now have a second video in here so that's a very nice uh, quick and easy thing to do the other thing is this windchill tutorial syllabus so what I just showed you is how to upload a document or upload a file um, and that turned out pretty easy you just do it by clicking this new document and following that pop-up window but now um, as in the last episode we downloaded a file and then you filled that file out, hopefully, and now you need to upload it back. Now usually what you'll do is you'll go into the respective folder where you need to upload it and you'll do what we just did. You'll hit this new document button, you'll select the file that you've edited um, and renamed to suit whatever circumstances you are and situation you are doing, and then you'll just upload it and you'll be done with all the work you need to do. However, if you are doing, if you are working on a shared document, um, kind of like on Microsoft Office or on Google Drive, um, and mo there are multiple people editing it, you have to make sure that you do not have any conflicting changes with anyone else. And Windshield does this kind of in in a very simple way, but um, it might be a somewhat limiting way depending on how you view it. Windchill treats files as a library, and so when you check a book out of a library, no one else is able to read that book. Now on, on Windchill, when you check out a file, other people are able to see that file, and other people are able to download that file, but when you check it out, other people aren't able to upload a new version of that file. So say I wanted to check this syllabus out. I wanted to change the syllabus for these videos. I would select this, I would right click, and then below download primary file there's a check out and download. And when I do that, this window will pop up, it will check it out, and in this case all it's done is open it up in Chrome. However, when we go back, we'll see a little square slash triangle icon right there and when we hover over that it says that it's checked out um, in this case it says checked out to you because I am logged in as me however if you someone else had checked this out it would say who checked it out there now what happens is when someone does that I'm not able to edit it so obviously this isn't a good example because I myself have downloaded it but now you have another option. Say I have downloaded this file and I have a new file I want to upload. I have edited my syllabus and I want to upload the new version. I want to click this again, right click, and this time we have this object that says check in. and It has a little uh, triangle with a square going in instead of out, which that might help some of you. I'm not sure if it does. 
Now when we check in, it will give you another window to pop up and then what you can do is you can browse to where you want the new file to go to. So in this case, I'll just browse to the desktop because that's where I have it and it's here in a text document somewhere. Wind chill videos and we'll open up that and that uploads really quick since it's just a text document and I can put comments on this version I can say the newest version of the syllabus and then there's an option to keep checked out after you check it in which in this case is just uploading the newest version in case anyone else wants to use it but we're gonna leave that unchecked because we just wanna put the new version out there for anyone to get to it. So we'll click OK. And as you can see now, that checkout symbol is gone. So this is a feature you have to use carefully because if you're working with other people and they see that you're working on it, um, they cannot change anything. They can view the version that is on there, but they are not able to check it out and then change it themselves. So it's a somewhat powerful feature, um, but many of you will probably need to use it sometime if you're using, uh, if you're designing a part for your team's robot, or you're working on a presentation for chairmans or for other awards, anything in between. Um, it's a useful feature to have, but if you only need to download a copy of that file, you don't want to download and check out. You merely want to download the primary file, which will download the file that is up on Windchill at that time. So that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, there might be other ones in the future about creating tasks and assigning tasks to other people. But as for now, there are these three videos. Um, you will have these two on here, obviously. The third one will be up shortly. And then on top of that, for non-Crevolution teams, if anyone would like to use this, all three videos will be found on the Crevolution YouTube channel, which I believe is Crevolution 2851. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.